Hi there, um, welcome to this computer tutoring training session. This time we're gonna particularly focus on Google Sheets and this is gonna be part of a playlist, okay? So uh, this is one of the first times I think that I've done this. So the idea is um, we're gonna look at VLOOKUP first and in particular is sorted so that we can rank customers, so we can give them a classification. So if we're able to do that, fantastic. Then what we're eventually gonna do is we're going to move on and look at the index match function. And we're gonna see why the index match function compared to the VLOOKUP function is just so much better. So just keep your eye out for that. So that's something that we're gonna have a look at. Um, and then finally, we're going to create uh, a sheet so we can have a sheet of lookup tables uh, and that's going to be in a completely separate file in Google Sheets. And so you can use that to cross-reference and look up different values um, or whatever you fancy doing, basically. So just give you an idea of what we'll be able to do. So this is what I've got already. We might actually do more than this. So if you haven't already done so, then please click subscribe and click on that bell notification so you'll know um, you won't miss anything. So this is basically at the end of the day, what will happen is we have listings here of different customers and then our customers spend and then we can see their rating. So we can see that there in the video here. Um, Sorry, on the Google Sheets here we can see. And then over, if you're wondering how the rating is worked out, well, it's looking up across from this lookup sheet. So if you just see here, I've got this lookup sheet just here, and then it's going to whatever values I click in here, I can, I can update it. So say, for instance, I think, you know what, uh, I need another one here, so I'm just gonna highlight this, and then I'm just gonna move this down a little bit. So let's say I want another ranking. Uh, or rating here, so it's going to be 10,000. I can press enter. Now let me just change that to pounds and pence. And then when I swap to the other one here, I can see, and if I change something between 50 and 10,000, let's do that, shall we? Uh, let's change this one here. So let's say that's 20,000. You see, it's now come up where I've got a D. I didn't want, oh, and I need, um, and then this one here is an E, so if it was between, let's just say, for instance, if it was between 5,000 and 10,000, let's say 7,000, so let's say this one here was 7,000. You can see it's an E and then anything, yeah. so you see, it's automatically updated. Some exciting stuff, eh? So let's get started, shall we, with that and see how it works and how we bring that all in. So first things first, what I'm just going to do is I'm just gonna highlight and delete <gasps> all of that. And we're gonna start off with the V lookup. Now V stands for vertical lookup and we're gonna take you through that very, very slowly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the lookup sheet just here and copy that. If you want to copy out this Google Sheet, you can do, you're more than welcome. Uh, anything that looks a similar way, you can do that. So let's just do this. And then what I'm also gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this back here because this highlights a first problem with Google, um, with um, VLOOKUPs is that the spend here has to be on this side. I'm just gonna resort it. So I'm just gonna go to data and sort range and um, hasn't got a header row. So I'm gonna go Z to A. Uh, oh, sorry, A to Z. Okay, brilliant. Great, excellent. So before I now get down and dirty with the V lookup, I just need to change this a little bit because this was set up for index match, which we'll talk about in a second. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to change this so that it's going to be zero. Uh, in fact, actually, if I escape out of this, I'm just gonna highlight all of this and I'm just gonna drag it, oops which is all of this here, there we go. And I'm just gonna drag it down one, there we go. And then I'm gonna type a zero in the top there. Okay, so there we go. And then the last one, I don't need anything for. Great, so now I'm ready to put in my V lookup. So go over here, I'm just going to zoom in so you can see, so that's good. So the way that this works is I start at equals and I'm gonna type in V lookup. Now, the first argument it's asking for is the search key. What does that mean? Well, 
it's basically what exists in this bit of information here that also exists in this bit of information over here. So if I just zoom, zoom in a bit and here we go. So what exists here that also exists here? What am I cross-referencing? Well, in this case, it's the spend, isn't it? So we want to ch check to see this cell here, B2. Okay, so that's what we're cross-referencing. And then hopefully it will f look for B2 or 600 in this list over here. So let's get that started with this here. So if I just click on B2 and then type in a comma. So now is the range. So if I look down at range here, it says the range to consider for the search. The first column in the range is search. Um, in the range is search for the key specified in search key. So what does that mean? Well, basically what that means is you can see the 600 pounds. That's what we originally searched for. We, that is, we need to cross-reference that to a range, to another table, uh, as mentioned earlier. So in this case here, it would be from F to G. Now I've selected the column headers here and the reason I've done that is because just in, you know, just in case I wanted to change all, any of this information. But maybe, if maybe at all in the future it's possible you put any information down here, you might just want to select the exact values here and then put dollar signs or absolute references in there. Um, I might put a link for absolute references just at the top. Great. Now I'm going to type in a comma. And then let's just zoom in to show you the next argument here. So the next one is the index. So if we'll have a look, let's have a look and see what index says. It says the column index of the value to be returned when the first column, sorry, where the first column in range is numbered one. So over here, if we um, just have a look over here, this is the range that we're cross-referencing. F will be column one, G would be column two. So in this instance here, we're going to type in a one because we want, uh, sorry, I do apologize, uh, a two because we want the rating. This is what we want to see. We want the rating to come back. That's good. Then we we'll type in another comma. And last but not least, if I just zoom down so we can see the is sorted, it says indicates whether the column to be searched, the first column of the sp specified range is sorted in which case the closest match for the search key will be returned. So that's this column here. Is that column sorted? So this one needs to be sorted in ascending order. Okay, so it needs to be sorted in ascending order for the VLOOKUP to work. Right, so let's put type in a one hit. Now you can type in either a true, just zoom in there. So you can either type in true, like so, uh, and that's working because it's coming up unrated. If I just double click and go back to here, or I can type in a one and it will make the same, give us the same result. That's great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go here and then I'm just going to double click to auto fill down. That's perfect. And we can see our VLOOKUP is working perfectly. So VLOOKUPs are fantastic for uh, cross-referencing any type of information. Say if you had dates and you wanted to cross-reference to see what period a particular date is in or what season a particular date is in, then you can use the VLOOKUP. So as I said before, and as I've promised, I will do an index match tutorial. And in particular, what we're gonna be looking at is why index match is superior to VLOOKUP. So hopefully, once you've got, got an index match under your belt, you should never really have any reason to touch VLOOKUP. However, many people, they really, really love VLOOKUP. They've just stuck with it for many, many years. And if you're inheriting spreadsheets from other people, then uh, VLOOKUP is really something you're going to need to know so you can change their spreadsheets. So make sure you click on the next video. The next video will be index match why superior to VLOOKUP. Thanks for watching.